What if I told you this picture is an actual theme park? Today we are going to be visiting the theme park that is used on all the terminals for private service for theme park too. So let's have a look. I am extremely excited. It's a massive park as you can see. There's way more as you can see than you see on the thumbnail. So let's just get straight into them and riding them all. So here we are at the front of the park. This park is created by ConCon. And of course we all know it. This is a park that Dennis used for the thumbnail. Which has been there from almost the start of the game and it is just surreal walking around here so of course the main coast of the park the, the, the coast we all know is this coast right here which is called silver bullet this park is based off not very farm so all the roller coasters are sort of related or based off and i think we're just straight going into this roller coaster but first i want to show you a few things that are extremely rare to have especially in this game back here i don't know how many there are of these but i'm sure or not. Hip March is a statue from Dennis. Here you literally got Dennis, the creator of the game is in the tree. And that also confirms this is not a recreation. This is the actual park. And to confirm that again if we go to the likes and we go to the 10th page we can see Dennis liked this 1800 days ago. Alright, now that we are sure it's not a recreation, it's the actual park, let's have a ride on Silver Boot. So all of this was of course curated before we had like the precision mode so everything is just on the grid but even for that, this park looks not not bad. I definitely understand why Dennis decided to use this bar. I asked the guy, I'm like, hey, how did you manage to make Dennis use this? And he literally said, yeah, I just sent him a message that like, hey, I got a park and then Dennis came. I, it's insane how he was able to do that. But we are going to be riding in real life. This is like a B&M invert. But of course, back in the days, we did not have that model. All right, let's have a ride on this roller coaster. And it, it's so weird being in this roller coaster, seeing it for many, many years. And it's of course a lot more coaster. We are going to be doing right after this. So yeah. Here we go, of course, on the, yeah, the main drop of this roller coaster. And it's not all built with the basic editor. Most is because that's just the tools we used to have back in the day. And it was just the easiest to actually make in version. Nonetheless, it's actually a really good and smooth roller coaster from what you were able to do. Some parts are maybe a bit slow, but of course, it's based off the real rides. And then we went just through the turn that is just so iconic. I don't think there's any words for it. It's just so weird being here. And I guess for you guys also seeing this roller coaster, since you're, of course, used to seeing this. All right, that was the ride on Silver Bullet. I really, really enjoyed it. So yeah, of course, that's the main ride of this park, but there are way, way more coasters, so let's just head right there. So if we're going to continue on the path, we can see this massive wooden structure, and I think you can just see it a little bit in the background of the, the thumbnail, so that's also in there. This is Lockfulum. The curator said it's extremely bad from the inside, but the outside looks pretty nice. This is Western Town right there, but I feel like we should do this, and this is not a normal a wooden coaster. As you can see, it's a steel coaster and then fully custom supported with frames. It's a massive, massive pain. We did not have copy and paste. We did not have off the grid. Everything just had to be able to fit. So this is a ghost rider. So let's go through here. We have a little bit of a theme section on the ground. I like that. And then we are heading up in the station. There is the coaster. All right, let's get straight into this coaster. So again, this coaster is based off the bomb that's in real life in Nuts Bay Farm named Ghost Rider. Of course, our song changed because inside of this game you cannot completely copy it one over one of course five six years ago but i don't think i've ever done a wooden coaster like this where it's just fully custom supported with like frames and i also get why not a lot of these are existing in the game since it's a massive pain but here we go on the first massive drop and of course game passes and stuff like i don't think disabled collisions was really there maybe it was but it's it's still so weird and it's actually a pretty decent coaster it goes really can definitely tell gravity of this coaster has been changed and you go fast at the bottom yeah it's just a lot of like going through the whole structure is really really cool that's something i kind of miss with the in-game wooden supports is that when you go through on the supports it literally just vanishes and it starts to look kind of kind of wacky and here we are back at the station that's actually a really nice ride i like that okay so once we exit this ride we have already the next ride right in front of it and it's the ride that's always closed in real life but here we can actually do it and that's accelerator and the entrance is right here yes yeah, definitely one of the more unthemed coasters in this park yeah, of course we're going for the front seat here we go this is looking quite interesting i'm not sure how smooth this is, this is of course the multi lounge coaster we always use oh my god that was fast <laughs> okay but at least we make it we go all the 
way down. Yeah, the gravity is 100% changed. Or is it still... Or maybe it's the legacy. Is it the legacy, like, physics? Oh, it is legacy model. Sorry if I said he used operation. Well, he, he did. But it's only track fraction. But it's, of course, also the legacy physics model. Which, well, as you can tell, makes the coasters behave really, really weird. All right, so now we have seen the whole front area of this park. That is all this. And then in later updates, you can see he got more plots in the back. But you can definitely tell, if I, especially if I go into the bigger mode, you can see how much bigger plots have gotten. And you have to sort of exclude this back area since he also built that. After Dennis took the screenshot, that's right here, this line. How bigger, much, much bigger the plots have gotten. Here we go to the new area. This was like built maybe like a few weeks after. Here we go, hang time. Uh, we got this sort of boomerang coaster. And we got the sidewinder. Let, let's just do hang time for last. And let's first do the other two coasters. So here we got Montezuma's Revenge. And I think I've also been in this park. When I was there, this coaster was not there. It was like all broken down or like just completely just removed. I'm not sure what it was with it. But this is, of course, the face turbine coaster. How, how could it not? All right, let's have a look at this POV. So just getting straight lounge forward. Here we go. Through the loop. Yeah, it's just a very standard coaster. It's literally you get lounge through a loop. You go up and then you go back to art. A lot of these all around the world. Quite forceful for the loops, but for the rest, they don't do too much. Nonetheless, still a fun ride and it fits quite nice actually there. Then we got Sidewinder, which is base of the layout, but the theming itself is quite different from Knott's Baby Farm. It still looks actually quite nice. So this is, of course, the entrance. And you can actually see, like, compared to what he built at the start, the theming with just the fences are a little bit more themed. There is more theming all around here. And still for, like, this probably, like, four or five years old, this is actually not bad. Like, this is probably better than a lot of people build right now in the game. All right, let's get in here. And, of course, it's built with the old spinning coaster. I'm not a massive fan of this model since spinning, like, whole mechanics is just so goofy. Yeah. Here we go. We have, like, a mine shaft down there. That looks very nice. And, yeah, you can tell we're not really spinning that much. It looks like some trees are, like, burned down. I like I like the, like, the vibe of that. Or, well, not the vibe of that. I'm actually spinning quite a lot now. That's really nice. I like that. And into the brakes. I would almost say that's my favorite coaster in this park. It's, like, quite themed. It's smooth. But, of course, we still have one coaster left in this park. And that is hang time. Which looks really, really nice. And even at night time, this whole coaster, of course, it just looks awesome. The whole park is actually, like, mainly lit up. There are some parts that aren't. But, yeah, you can just tell this coaster in the dark is, uh, is, is approved. Approved. We're going to be doing it um, just with lights on. And, wow, there went the coaster. That is going quick. So, here's the station. We'll be waiting a little bit on the train. And then we're going to have a ride on hang time. So, this coaster, of course, has the, the vertical chain lift, which actually are not that many coasters in the game that yeah, do this. So, that's very nice. And then, I think this is one of the steepest roller coasters in the world. I don't know the exact thing, but it's, it's really, really steep. So, we are here at the top. And are we getting stopped? Oh, we are. Oh, my God. We are looking down. And here we go. Woo! And, yeah, the, the rest of the coaster is actually pretty smooth. I think it's all built with, like, the, of course, the advanced editor, which you can definitely tell. Um, yeah, I, I really, really like it. I'm not sure if the flawless model is the actual model in real life, but I don't think that matters too much. We have a nice airtime hill with some more boosters, otherwise it probably didn't make it. And, yeah, this is a very heavy, um, yeah, invertible coaster into the brakes. Now, that, that, that's definitely my favorite coaster in this park. There's, of course, a lot more other small things you can see around this park. It's, like, this dining location, these rockets and i've actually eaten here and it's actually decent on how it looks but besides all of that this park is of course quite outdated and the two mills are also uh, outdated like this park is five six years ago and it doesn't really display what the game can do and what we all have that copy paste off grid all that stuff just didn't really exist so dennis if you're watching this maybe consider updating some of the two mills. please keep this one since it's just so nostalgic but some of the other ones that are like based around like halloween or christmas they don't really matter anymore. So, this was a very, very special video for me to record. When ConCon messaged me, I was like, wait, are you for real? You actually, is this your park? And that's just something I would never expect recording this video. So, again, thank you so much ConCon for reaching out to me and letting me actually allow to record this park and just, yeah, standing on top of the street, the exact same spot where Dennis took the, yeah, the screenshot like this. It's just so weird to me. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe subscribe on my channel we're almost at 200 thousand subscribers or maybe actually already hit it i don't even know but guys thank you so much and i will say as always good bye